Welcome back. We have arrived in a place called Hunrath, which um, is about all we know about it at this point. There does not appear to be anyone at the house over there. So let's check out this direction. There seem to be some more structures there. Oh, um, I feel I should point out, this game auto-saves, much like uh, Dreamful Chapters did. Unlike Dreamful Chapters, it does it constantly, like every five seconds. So, if the game crashes or something, you never have to go very far back. At first, auto-saving seems like a bit of a disadvantage, because you can't save somewhere and then go back to it later, if you need to look at something again. That is not easily just taken a picture of. However, that's not entirely true. You can actually create multiple uh, saves in this game, it's just really well hidden. If you go to the menu um, and go to the load game option, because of course that makes the most amount of sense if you want to save that you have to go to load, there is a little uh, button here that will create a copy of your save file and then you will be able to go back to that later. I think if you actually load one of your copies, it will then start auto-saving on top of that slot, so if you want to maintain it, you'd better create another copy before loading it. It's a really weird system, and a pretty terrible piece of UI design. What's wrong with just having a save button? Even if your game auto-saves, fine. Also have a save button. Um, anyway. I did not know that for my entire first playthrough. It's probably the biggest puzzle in this game, trying to figure out how to save. Um, anyway, looks like there's a an old west town over there. And that laser or whatever that is is coming from there. It seems to be dissipating somewhere in the sky, which is not what lasers normally do. Actually, come to think of it, that effect kind of looks like the same effect that you see inside of those weird imager things. Guess we'll figure out what's going on there. Another switch point and a caved-in mining tunnel. These rocks not of the glowing variety, unlike the other tunnel that we saw over in that direction. So I guess that's not a normal thing for rocks to do in this uh, place. It's over here. It's like more train tracks up there and some kind of crane. There's a tower over there. Well, maybe we need to remember the tower rotation. Nothing cleverly hidden on the back of this? No. It's not quite that kind of game. Most of the time, the clues you need are fairly easy to uh, spot. Looks like we can go up here. The tree. Yes, there is indeed a tree there. Is that remarkable? Then again, I guess it's not the kind of tree that you would expect to be growing in a western town. And somebody thought it was important enough to wall it off. So let's see what this message has to say. This is the tree. It has been here in Hunrath for as long as anyone can remember. Its health is intimately tied to everything in our little greenhouse. Our cell we live in. Our ecosystem. It has provided many surprises over the years, including some interesting seeds that you will learn more about. Many have postulated, yet we really know very little about its origins. But we do know it should be cherished and protected. Uh, okay, well, if uh, somebody is telling me there is some mysterious thing, in this case a tree, I guess not that mysterious, but 
Somebody is putting some weird importance into a mysterious tree and telling me it should be cherished and protected. I am therefore going to assume it's evil. And we'll probably have to do something about it at some point. That is how these things work, isn't it? That is definitely a similar kind of effect as the end of a laser beam. These make reference to a greenhouse or cell that we live in. don't see any greenhouses here. Unless he's just talking about the whole place. I mean, it does look like we have alien landscape on all sides. Seem to just have a little bit of a slice of regular old west town in the middle of this weird other place. So maybe that's what he means. And we did see we can't go outside because of that weird shield thing. So... Maybe that's the cell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Doesn't look like we can climb up there. Is that tree supposed to be that color or is it autumn? I guess that tree doesn't really fit with this train anyway, so there's no way of knowing. Can we actually get to the tree? What's over here? That's a door. Which is locked. It happens, you know. Something down here. And there's a tree. There's a hose going to the tree. To water it, I guess. Or maybe it's extracting something from it. Kind of impossible to tell from this direction. And obviously a gate is blocking our way. Which seems to be controlled down there. So I guess we need to get there before we can get to the tree. Is it the great tree of possibilities? Probably not, but... Wouldn't put it past them to put that kind of a reference. It looks like it is a water hose. It's connected to the water tower here. Seems to be a bit of a makeshift solution. I guess the water used to go there. To... That garden, I guess? Pipe seems to end there. That garden does not look very well. And a windmill. I wonder there's actually two lasers over there. A blue one and a red one. That weird structure also doesn't quite look like it belongs in a uh, in an old west town. It's a bit too modern looking for it. Hmm. What's a crane for? I guess they use that to build this wall. Somebody must have cared about people getting to that tree. Can we get on this roof, it looks like? Get a bit of a larger perspective. It looks like there's another sign over there. Hartnell, that's the name we saw on some of the graves. Hartnell Mining Company. I guess this was a mining town. Which would explain the train tracks and the mining tunnels. So, yeah. We can see a whole bunch of things from here. Including power lines that seem to be coming from there, or going over there. I'm assuming these are power lines. They might be telegraph wires for all I know. And they are... Connected to that thing, I guess? Um... Did anyone hear that? That creeped me out. Is it just a wind? <laughs> I guess it's probably just a wind. 
Not a single soul around here. Except for me. There's actually another way down here. And somebody was playing backgammon. Can't pick any of this stuff up. Let's see, did we skip anything by going over the top? We skipped this building here, but it does not appear to have a, a door we can use. It does have another sign saying Hartnell Mining Company. Let's just uh, keep going. I'm gonna go look at the right first, and then when we come back, I'll look at the left side. I will, however, look at the sign over here. Downtown Hunrath. So I guess Hunraf is the name of the town. Wouldn't it be Hartnell? Wouldn't that make more sense? I don't know. We have a healthy, thriving community here, as you can see. Our garden was planted years ago and has supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, Scoring and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. Many were brought here, like you. And some actually were born here. We all feel we are part of the whole. Um, Mayor Yosef, was that your name? Um, I think you've gone a bit overboard <laughs> with these things. Honestly, by the time somebody would get here, I would expect them to already have met some people and therefore probably they don't really need these anymore. They're good for us though because, well, we haven't met anyone yet, which, you know, begs the question, where is everyone? After that battle, the note talk talked about, I guess. I hope we won. Oh, it's another one of those warning things. Pottery making. Why are all these places boarded up? People were supposed to be living here. Did they board them up as protection or something against the battle? Would that even help? Depends on what kind of battle it is, I guess. There's a windmill. And the water tower. Yeah, that's not doing anybody any good. Well, I don't know when this battle took place, but they've definitely neglected the garden. There's a weird looking wind vane. Where's the wind coming from? Is it the alien world or is there some kind of air circulation inside this cell, as the mayor called it? Some of these items, by the way, they are backer reward items. By default, the game shows you this when you hold your cursor over them. Um, I turned that off because I like uh, to not have immersion breaking text overlapped on my screen. If you uh, backed a game at a certain level, you were allowed to design some items that went into the game. I did not quite pledge that much money, so none of these are mine. You know, this little garden here is a nice little indication of just why I love this game so much. 
Because if you're like me, and if you've watched any of my other Let's Plays, especially my Mitz Let's Plays, you know what I'm like. Um, you're the kind of person who uh, likes to ask the question of like, well, how did they live here? What did they eat? What did they drink? How did they survive? And Cyan obviously put enough thought into that to actually try to answer those questions, so I appreciate that a lot. They obviously ate that, but have not for some while. The grass seems to be doing okay. I am very curious about those lasers, but I'm just gonna keep going down here first. It looks like there's another one of those signs over there. And this ends at another cave-in. Yeah, we're not moving those anytime soon. A waterfall. Um... Either someone changed, something changed since they put this sign here, or someone was very optimistic calling this a waterfall. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself, and we don't really understand how. Although, the entire system is very closely tied together. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Others attribute a complex natural process, which we one day hope to understand. But either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. That would indeed be important, because that water tower would run out quite quickly, I would imagine. It is a good question where that's coming from. That alien landscape, well, there are clouds, so I guess there must be some water. And now I'm wondering if it ever rains here. But I guess even the people who live here don't know where the water came from, and... Well, the rocks are wet, so... Some trickle of water still coming down by the sound of it, but whatever waterfall was here, there's not much left of that. Looks like this is a dead end, so let's uh, take a quick look here before we head back and deal with those lasers. That is another one of those switch point things for the train tracks, except there's no train tracks. Must serve some other purpose to do with this ridiculous construction over here. Did that do anything? I couldn't tell. Maybe if we have a better overview? Ah. It lives that part, but then nothing happens. Uh-huh. Little bridge here. And these doors with a, an airplane propeller on the front. Again, something that does not look like it belongs in the Old West. Looks like we can move it. it moves it into the water. Hmm. Does that accomplish anything? The answer is no. Maybe we need to pull that lever up there first. You can actually also move that to the other direction if the game is going to let me, which it seems to not want to at the moment. There we go. But something tells me that will be equally useless for now. Yeah. Clearly something else is required to make this work. This 
So let me decide. I guess this isn't a dead end. At least there's a tunnel here. But that's locked. Anything of interest in there? Not that I can tell from here, that's for sure. Platforms up there seem to connect to that wall that seems to be running through this entire little town. All the way back to Farley's house. Still haven't found a way to get onto that though. We got close with the bit at the tree, but not close enough. Alright, let's check out these lasers over here. That does not look healthy. And that is just dissolving in the sky up there. Unless maybe that shield, if that's not a cylinder but a dome, could be hitting the shield. This one's definitely hitting the ground here. I don't know if that's just an optical effect or if it is genuinely disturbing the terrain there, so I am going to uh, stay away from that. Okay, it's a cyan game. I'm probably not going to die, but... Still better not to mess with things that I don't know how they work. Oh, hey, look at that. We found another one of our bee friends. Let's see where he's going. He is following the power line over to that side. And now I can't follow him anymore. Huh. Those bees also don't seem like they belong in an old west town. I mean, I'm not exactly an expert of insects in, uh, like, turn of the 19th century, uh, America, but I don't think those were there. Anyway, what do we have here? Lasers. Which belong on the head of freaking sharks. But there's no sharks here, so I guess this will have to do. There's a waterfall. Maybe the sign is just in the wrong place. It's in the air. Huh. Some tools. Not much. Some rope. Some barrels. And a door. Which looks very solid. I don't think we're getting past that. Ooh. That hammering. Somebody in there? Let's see what happens when we push this. Bye. 
glasses. Now, let's get the hell out of this place. All right. Um, he didn't actually introduce himself. I'm going to guess CW. Looks like he thought we were the people he was waiting for. Until he actually opened the window and saw that we weren't. Who the devil are you, by the way, is I think the first thing Atrus says to you in Mist, so that's another reference there. But it sounds like the man has a plan to go home, which is definitely something I'd be interested in, so I guess we should help him. I don't know what happened to the others. Hopefully, they'll show up at some point. I guess he wants us to turn the power back on. Gee, there's a surprise. It's never been a puzzle before in the Mist game. Can we talk to him more? I want to know who he is. Where he came from. What happened to everyone? There's questions to ask. And nothing's happening. Guess he needs the power first. It's very faint, but you can actually hear a doorbell when you press that. Which is kind of funny. Okay, well, big help you are. Alright. We'll see if we can get the power running. Sorry, I can just stand around this game admiring parts of the scenery. <laughs> This game is so pretty. Um, I'll try to keep that to a minimum. But then again, if you know my Let's Plays, you know that is what I do. So, should not be a surprise to anyone. That's like turning some kind of water wheel up there. Maybe that's part of the power generation mechanism thing. I guess these lasers don't need power. Can we go in here? There's a button. Nope. Can't seem to open it otherwise. Can go in here. How do we get up there? What is that? Not sure. Hmm. Looks like if we want to get up there, we have to go through behind there, which means we have to get past that door. That's not going to work. Some more platforms over there, which I think I missed. Yeah. Oh, I can go out here. All right. I get there. There's a waterfall. And I'm guessing an elevator of some sort. Find out. And it is. Can't have a missed game without elevators, I guess. Well, I guess technically this isn't a missed game, but for all intents and purposes, it really is. I guess the water wheel is powering that elevator. Doesn't seem to be powering anything else, as far as I can tell. So maybe that's not what we need. But we're up here, so might as well look around. By the way, by default, if you uh, turn one of these handles, the game shows an arrow indicating which way you need to move the mouse to move it. But, again, turn that off. For reasons of immersion. That's locked. All our ways in there are blocked. Hmm. 
And there's the big red laser. That definitely looks very similar to those imaging devices. I don't think it is an imaging device, though. No button anywhere, anyway. Or we'd ha get the biggest view of the good mayor yet. Let's see, it looks like we can also go up here. Two ways to go. Let's go this way first. Just a canyon, and it ends in the wall, the shields, or whatever it is. Uh, looks like this is our mysterious source of water that the mayor was talking about. Seems to be coming up from the ground here somewhere. Nice view from here. Yeah, it looks like that bridge on top of the weird propeller thing goes to that wall. Maybe that leads to the tower? The tower is behind the tree, by the way, which is where that door was, that other locked door we saw. Oh, well, maybe that's how we can get in there, if we can find a way to unlock that. Yeah, the more I see of this place, the more I feel like we're inside of a circle. Or some kind of dome. Which would explain what that laser's hitting. Let's see what we have here. Looks like some kind of sluice gate or something. And another repurposed train switch point handle. Another reason why I like this game is because you can see how they built this stuff by reusing items that clearly had some other purpose. How they got all of them, I don't know. I don't know where they got the the propeller, for one thing. But you can see that they used the stuff they had to build some of this stuff, which is always something I like. Let's see what happens here. Oh! Looks like we opened that. It makes sense. It was connected by cable, so... There's your waterfall. Awesome. Looks like we got that flowing. Don't know if that accomplished anything, but we'll find that out in the next video.